it in the frame? It's kind of shiny, huh? This box is big. What's up everybody, my name is Belden and in this video mini series of the Gunplay by Hand I'm gonna go over free handing and some detail work because it kind of goes hand in hand for the most part on this kit right here, it's the Gundam Estray Blue Frame Second Revise um, Yeah, it's a pretty big box, master grade of course 100 scale of course um, I think I said that already but I have the free hand stuff mostly done on this kit already I'm gonna do one more piece on it and I'm gonna basically show you guys from start to finish on how to actually do that. And um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so I got my colors here. Got a cup of plain water here. My wet palette on this side. And then you need something like a piece of paper or some sort. Um, you see a bunch of lines on here because I use it to kind of thin out the paint a little bit kind of like um, something you would do when you do dry brushing, but you don't want it to be completely dry. I'm gonna show you in a second. Let's move this out of the way. All right, so to kind of go over what I have done on this one already. So start with this on the side. So basically on this kit, I did a bunch of uh, graffiti on it. You can tell it has like the yellow up on top and then kind of fades down to the blue. Um, got some like purple in, it's like a pink. A bunch of different stuff. There's another one here. And also did like, not just like bombing, but I did like tagging too. It's kind of hard to see red on blue. Um, and then I have more on this side. And this is the side that kind of shows outward when it's on his back because this sword turns into like a little booster pack thing. Um, and then you'll see on this one, it's kind of like broken up. It looks funny. Same with this side. And that's because this thing kind of opens up like I was saying. So it kind of like completes the artwork on here. And then here's another one here. Kind of did it upside down, but that's all right. It doesn't matter because it supposed to be like that and then on this side it looks a little cleaner because this is over it but it's all good and then on this kit here on the actual model I have some down here um, there's one on his leg here if you're following my uh, Instagram you'll probably see these a lot better a lot clearer but I'm gonna try to show you guys as best as possible on all the stuff that I have on there because not everything that I have on Instagram is uh, shown and did a little bit of that triangle stuff down there and then there's more on this like here this is pretty cool kind of tried to fill them up with the time i had but i'm um, still working on it but yeah and then i also got some um like little brass pieces and kind of did like kind of like a makeshift armor type deal on his on his knees but yeah it's kind of like I don't know, it's kind of like that rat rod like look. And obviously on here too, did a little bit. And I did some on this side too. And then I also did his head. Let me just pop this off really quick. So yeah, this is all freehand stuff and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it really quick. And basically the um, example, I'm gonna use is, oops, turn this on really quick. It's basically, I'm gonna put this one on there, and I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna find some space. I might try to do it down down here. We'll see. Um, do the outline first. So you want to use something that you can see the color on. So if it's gonna be like a darker model, you want to use um, white or like a gray or something. And obviously, if it's a white model, you want to use a gray or black. Let's start with outlining first. So you wanna get paint on your brush, but you don't wanna put too much where it's gonna lay down really dark, cause all you're doing is kind of like sketch work. So you know exactly where everything's gonna be laid out, and then you lay down the color. So we're gonna start off with this. So we're gonna start here and then kinda just go over here. I have a little bit of black artwork on this side here, but 
that's fine it's not such a big deal and then you kind of want to make it to where it's almost um like colored water basically but don't make it too thin to where it starts running over everything and starts filling in the crack like a wash so you want to make sure that when you do do this that you're getting a light color on there and it's fine if it's sloppy you just need to basically know where everything's going to be laid out so it's kind of like like literally just a sketch to know where everything is and it's fine if it's if the line is too thick or too thin or anything like that because it can pretty much be fixed um when you start laying down the darker colors but for now well not for now but yeah for now it's fine you can fill it in if you want to just whatever makes it easier for you to to know where everything is as far as um the layout goes it's you know what i mean do it do it that makes it easier for you you don't want to do what i do and then come to find out that everything is confusing so on this one i think i'm going to make the line a little bit cleaner up against the i guess that little that little piece divider or whatever you want to call it so i'm gonna put a line like that Um, so you can do either uh, two different ways to thin out the paint on your brush. You can either do it on this paper that you have on the side, or you can do it on the side of the cup. And because it already has water on the side of the cup, you don't want to put the brush in the water, but you just want to touch the side of it like this, and it'll thin it out. Now, once I start using different colors, it'd be a lot easier to see. But unfortunately, right now, I have to use white. Could have used gray, huh? It's all right. It's all, it's all good. And hopefully this thing comes out right. All right, so the sketch lines are done for the most part. Now this part doesn't need to be pretty at all. You just need to, like I said before, need to know where you're gonna put the lines down. Um, it's almost like it's drawing up a stencil. Now this is the image, just in case if you guys don't remember, this is the image I'm going to be uh, referencing. It's gonna be close to it. If I need to, I might have to lose some stuff or move the lines around, but for the most part, um, that is the, the image I'm gonna do on here. So next step is, uh, I don't even have black on here, do I? Yes, I do. So black, so throw black in here in the wet palette. All right. Now this is gonna be a little bit different. So now when you're gonna do the black, let me show you first. Dip it in the paint. You wanna cover a lot of the brush and then you wanna go on either your cup or your paper and then kind of like get the paint off of the brush a little bit and you want to test it really to see the consistency of it and you want it to be almost like I don't know how to explain it almost like a like a marker and then you will start to see it starts to get like more 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 gray you don't want it like that but you want it thin enough to where when you strike a line that it it is black but like a thin black not gray or whatever the color is if it's blue you want it to be blue so you want to kind of just keep doing that and kind of i mean you can go back in that paint to kind of pick it back up again and then you want to strike it on here but if you do it too many times then when you go back onto the plastic what's going to happen is it's going to start fading out again so you kind of want to do it right before it starts turning gray or whatever the color is and then go in here and then start scratching in your uh your art so let me these dogs are out of control tell you 
I don't know what to say about that. My apologies on the insane dogs. All right, so, so let's start this really quick. The thing is the dogs bark every time somebody walks past that, my neighbors. And it's not my dog, my neighbors. Just like that. Um, it's a lot easier when it's all gonna be one color on the inside, but you kinda wanna still be kind of careful with the lines, especially if it's gonna be on the edge. So try to make the lines as neat as possible. That way your cleanup isn't going to be too uh, ridiculous as far as getting it to, to look right. Especially when you're doing dark colors, you wanna make sure because um, Dark, dark colors are harder to, to cover up. So.